Something I bought tomorrow But fight for today We are we have We must find a way Come and go Come and go you Can't you hear? I hear. This video is just a quick demonstration of the plugin. So, the main difference between this plugin and the normal R0140 is number one, you have a lot of other plate materials to choose from. You also have a three band parametric equalizer different output modes, input and output trimmers, along with plate size. So by default, Black Rooster have the settings pretty good, I would say, with the wet dry knob being around eh, 15%, 20%. And if you don't know what a wet dry knob means, it means that if you are all the way to the left counterclockwise, you are not going to have any unaffected, unprocessed signal going through this plugin. Essentially, it's a true bypass option. Let's listen to it. You can and all the way wet, fully clockwise. You and at 50%, it is a half and half blend. So at the 12 o'clock position, a half and half blend of the unprocessed signal and the reverb signal. You can For vocals, I tend to go around the 20% area. Now, when you're moving this knob, I don't see any overlay and I can't find a way to show what exactly that number is. So moving on, a pre-delay essentially, it essentially delays the time from when the reverb starts reverbing if that's an adjective. The damper knob is probably the most important of all, although all four of these controls are important, but the amount of reverb, so the reverb time, the RT60, or the decay time, as it were, is what the damper setting controls, essentially. All the way counterclockwise at one, it's a very short decay. You can show. Let me put this more all the way to the right so we hear it and then I'll go through each setting you can show. You can. interestingly enough you can't use your scroll wheel on this you have to choose it like that you can show. I think you guys get the idea. And then finally, we also have the ability to cut the bass signal, which comes in handy when you want to make sure that your mix is not being clouded up by this reverb. Now, if you have a very sparse mix with just maybe an acoustic guitar and a vocal or, you know, just some area of the mix you can you know you can automate this as well where you just need to fill in those frequencies then don't use the bass cut but normally for a dense mix you know up this section right here So again, adjust everything to taste. 
Also, yes, this plugin is input level dependent. So be wary of your meters right here. And I believe this is the bypass button. You can show, can't you hear? Yep, very nice. Also down here, you can choose different GUI sizes along with knob modes, knob sensitivity, good times. Thanks for watching this realhomerecording.com video. You can get monthly audio engineering news and exclusive videos by signing up for our newsletter. Okay, that sounds so good. I'm going to put it on my own voice right now to uh, take you guys away. Thank you all for watching realhomerecording.com.